Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this quick tips video, we're going to be taking a look at creating device groups using the UI in the latest release of Home Assistant 2022.4. So while I roll the intro, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week and check out some of my affiliate links in the video description to help to support the channel. And let's get started. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create light groups using the YAML configuration file. But the 2022.4 release of Home Assistant has made that video obsolete by introducing groups into the UI. So we're going to take a look at how that works and that's going to help simplify the creation of groups. Now, in my opinion, this is going to be a huge deal for the usability of Home Assistant, especially for newcomers to home automation so that they don't have to then learn a new language in order to set up groups of lights or switches. So let's take a look in Home Assistant. Now, this is an example of the light group YAML file that we have set up. This is in my production server. So you'll see that we've got the light domain, a platform of group, uh, and the name of dining lights, and then I've got all of the entities attached in there. And that's how we would do that in YAML. I'll pop over to my demo server now. So what we're going to do in Home Assistant is I'm going to head over to my configuration menu. I'm going to head to automations and scenes, and then I want to click on the helpers tab across the top here. Once we are on the helpers tab, we click on add helper in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see we've got all of these new helpers that we can create and we'll explore some of those in future videos as well. Uh, but for now, I just wanna grab this group helper and then we get to choose what kind of helper we're going to create. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to grab the light group uh, and we're going to give it a name and I'm going to call it dining room lights. And uh, I'm going to do just the down lights here in the dining room. So for entities, I'm going to start typing dining and I want dining one, dining two, dining three and dining four. And what we can do here as well is we can toggle this switch on that says hide members. And what that's going to do is it's going to hide each of these member entities from our Home Assistant dashboard. If I click submit on that now, we've created the configuration for dining room lights and we can hit finish there and we see it pops up there. Uh, if I click on this, we can modify it further. So for example, I'm going to add this to the dining room area uh, and we've got some advanced settings here as well for the entity status, either enabled, hidden or disabled. And there's also this configure state button here as well. So if I click that, so we can add different entities here, we can turn on or off the hide members item in here. And there's also this all entities toggle which shows up in here as well. Uh, and you can see at the top, it describes what that does. If all entities is enabled, the group state is on only if all members are on. If all entities is disabled, the group state is on if any member is on. So that might be particularly useful if you were to unhide the members and turn on all entities and say you only want a dining room one and two on in this example. Uh, and then later on, you wanted to turn on the other two items in the group, so three and four. When you have one and two on, the group will show as being off and you could then toggle that switch to turn on the rest of the group. For now, I'm just going to hide the members and turn all entities off and I'm gonna hit submit on there and we'll hit finish. So now if I close that and we head over to our overview uh, in our dining room, uh, there's nothing showing up in the dining room for the dining room lights, but if I scroll down, we should find in light here, uh, we've got the dining room lights. And if I toggle that, 
all four of my dining room lights just turned off. And I can turn that back on uh, and they turn back on. We can click on the icon here and we have control over the color or the temperature. So if I hit red, those are all going to change to a red color. Uh, and if we go back to temperature and go to a warm white, those will change back to a warm white. Uh, and we've also got the different effects. So that is the light group. I'm gonna do that one more time and I'm going to demonstrate a switch group now. So I'm going to go to configuration and I'm going to go to automations and scenes, helpers, and then add helper and group. And this time, instead of a light group, I want to grab a switch group. And I'm going to call this one hallway. And uh, so I'm calling this one hallway. And then in members, I want to grab hallway one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four, and I'm gonna hit hide members on there and click submit, and we've created the configuration for hallway. Uh, and I'm going to just go back to the overview there, and I'm going to search for hallway. Uh, so we've got this switch in here, we've got hallway, uh, and we can click on, and the hallway lights came on, and we can click off, and the hallway lights turn off. And if I drill into that, uh, we can see it's literally just a switch. We've got some attributes in there which show us the entity IDs that are attached to that as well. Uh, if we drill into the settings again, we can also have the uh, state configuration. So the same deal, all entities or hide members. And you'll note that in the switch here, we don't have the individual plugs listed. So that's the new method of creating light groups and switch groups in Home Assistant 2022.4. As you can see, it's much quicker and easier than the old method of editing YAML files, and I highly recommend trying it out now and switching over to this new method. That's all we have for this video, and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to comment down below with home automation ideas you'd like to see covered in future videos. And don't forget to follow Hive Mind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please take a moment to change that now. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll also get notified when I release new videos each week. If you're currently in the market for a VPN provider, I have recently partnered with NordVPN and there is an affiliate link for NordVPN in the video description as well. I chose to partner with NordVPN because they have the best infrastructure of any of the VPN providers I've looked at. They have a strict no logs policy and servers all over the planet with apps for just about every platform, including Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So whichever platform you're using, you can protect your sensitive information while you browse the web wherever you are in the world. So get a VPN today and use my link below to sign up for NordVPN. Lastly, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel but you're not looking for a VPN provider, there is a Buy Me A Coffee link in the video description down below. Contributions made through the Buy Me A Coffee link are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.